Welcome back. It seems strange to be saying that, but how good does it feel to be here? Oh, it feels great. I've gone to all my rehab at Preston and was looking forward just to come back and play. Um, so just waiting on the the all clear to, to get going again and play and, and managing to, to come back to Carlisle is a massive bonus for me to come back and play for, for Carlisle. We were talking about this in the tunnel on the way down, but knowing the fans want you here, knowing the manager and, and players want you here, what's that like? It's fantastic. I, I remember getting recalled for for Preston and um, the Carlisle fans were great then. They, all the positive comments that they, they said and um, what they had said about me was a no-brainer for me to come back here, especially with the, the gaffer and the players that are here. They, they made me feel so welcome coming in the first time that the second time was just a no-brainer to come back. In those five appearances, we could see it. You were starting to click, you were starting to get into your stride. I think the Sunderland game was the, the game where it clicked and and that's unfortunately when I did my shoulder but um, it was just getting into rhythm again I did that, the first game back from lockdown was uh, the game against Cambridge when I came on so it was just getting back into the rhythm and I've been on a six week fitness programme now uh, at Preston so I feel the fittest I've been and, and ready to go What did the gaffer say about what he wants from you this second time round? Just goals I know I <clears throat> I know I owe Carlisle one for for Scunthorpe, which I should have scored, um, but I think this time it'll be a very different Ethan Walker than the first time round. He said that to you on the phone, didn't he? He's revealed that, that he's actually said to you, you owe me now. Yeah, yeah, he, he said it to me on the phone, I can't let him down, so, um, but we'll see, I'm just, I just want to, to make an impact for the team and for the Carlisle fans to see that I can excite them and, and make a difference. Taking you back to that Sunderland game, Ethan, you knew we'd do this. Did you know as soon as you hit the floor? Uh, yeah, I, I knew as soon as it hit the floor that it had happened. Um, it was actually when I stood up again, it was still out of its socket. So that's when I had to push it back in a little bit and, and heard a squelch and stuff, and that was when it when it was over for for Sunderland game. It must have been devastating as well when you get the news that actually it's going to need more than just a little bit of rehab. Yeah, I, I got the I got the opportunity to to stay at Carlisle and play the rest of the season um, without having the operation and just get it done at the end but there's no point I'm still young I just may as well have just got it sorted and, and that way I've come back for the second half of the season where Carlisle have been absolutely flying without me to come back and, and help them over the finish line. But knowing that it is sorted you've been through that operation process now that must be a weight off your mind because it's something that had happened before. Yeah it is it's, it's something now that I can move on and it's not something that's in the back of my mind because I, I, I tweaked it a little bit the last time and um, even doing weights in the gym and stuff I could never do the same on, on the other side so n now that I've gone through the process of getting the operation it's something that's, that's cleared my mind so I can just come back and express myself. Strange few weeks it's been uncertainty we've been waiting to hear whether you're coming back or not and then you're on the bench for Preston and we think well that's all over what was that like? Yeah, mixed of emotions really because I got I got the the opportunity to go on the bench for Preston and um, get my hopes up to to hopefully play and get game time and help Preston. But Preston have a, a strong uh, amount of players and they have a great team, so I can understand why. And I'm still young, so getting the opportunity to come back here and play for Carlisle is it's what I've, I wanted to do in the first place. I wanted to I wanted to just play games. I want to. Um, I just want to just play, express myself. Um, so I think that that's something that I can do here, and maybe in the summer, going back to Preston, I can show the gaffer that I, I can I can be ready. There's no grey area, is there, Ethan? Preston has been your club for so long. It is where you want to play your football, but this is an opportunity, and you're going to grab it with both hands. Yeah, exactly. This is just a stepping stone, I, I, and it's it's a great experience for me to play in uh, for a club that's that's so well liked by the fans, and and we've got such a good fan base here that. It's something that's um, not put any pressure on me when I come here and it's helped me be myself on the pitch and and express myself in front of the manager and the players and, and that's something that, that I want. You said it already, you've been watching the results. Has there been little cheers when, you, when you've seen the points rolling in? Of course there have. I've, I've been watching both. I've been watching Preston and, and Carlisle. I've, I've been having the little cheers here and there. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've always... Um, since I've been injured, I've been watching Carlisle results and having little cheers here and there. So, yeah, it's something that, that was good. Seeing the lads already this morning, smiles on the faces and things like that. What's it like to be back? It feels great. I, I feel like um, the first time round, I was just trying to to um, 
get at ease. I was trying to get comfortable, but the second time round's made it a lot easier because I've already spoken to the lads and, and I got on with them the first time round, so the second time round is a lot easier to, to gel with them. And just finally, I know you won't answer it, but I'm going to ask anyway, what's your targets for the next five months? Um, targets? I'd Just goals and assists and to work hard for Carlisle, that's, that's all I want to do. Um, um, and just take each game as it comes. Uh, not try and look uh, too far ahead on, on winning the league and whatnot, but just take each game as it comes and, and get a goal and assist per game, maybe. Fantastic. Welcome back, Ethan.